Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 122 of my playthrough as Marmorus in Crusader Kings 2. So things have gotten a bit messy in the last few years. Uh, this used to be our territory, and then we lost it through inheritance to Galicia, and then Byzantine Empire, who are our tributary state, managed to get in there and seize it uh, before I could do anything about it. Uh, I was too busy helping them out in their two wars down here. Um, so, in all that, while I had to embed a new emperor. So, we've been trying to help out in the wars down here, and I've realised I was focusing on the wrong one. I was looking at 75% war score here, when we're actually, the fighting was happening against Croatia, so I'm going to forget that for now, bring my troops over and relieve Constantinople. And my court physician has showed, shared some of his latest ideas with me. I do not know much of medicine, but perhaps he is on to something. He has asked for some money to develop his theory further and write a book on it. 157 gold, okay, do that. Uh, when this army's finished fighting that battle, we'll bring it down to Constantinople as well. Okay. I find myself in bed all day. The act of getting up almost as difficult as that of ruling. Food tastes bland and my time spent with friends doesn't bring me joy it once did. I don't really understand why, but I hate my life. I've become depressed. Okay, let's have you head for there. You join up with them and then we will go and attack. The hope is that we can conclude this war here quickly uh, and then let the Byzantines focus on the other war against Croatia. A blessed has passed, a kinsman of mine. Blessed be his name. Too busy to look into things of that nature at the moment, I'm afraid. Come on, hurry up, there we go. Group you up, get you down here. I'm going to marry a kinswoman of mine off to... Right, so my nephew wants to marry a kinswoman of mine to my brother. Ah. So, the Queen of Italy died and we would well, at least my nephew's still in there. Okay, it's a bit complicated. We'll just accept it and let it go on. So anyway, the upshot of that is that my nephew is now the king of Italy. Okay. But anyway, I want to focus on this army. View in the centre there. As well, you you have good mineral damage. You've got good mounted troops. Okay. The best that we've got, really. So we'll leave you there. And you're heading for Constantinople. You spy master. You still don't like me. So I guess we need to go and find somebody again. Courtier in Badajoz. 
Let's invite you to court. Go. I don't think we get any more score from this. Point counselor, spy master. But we're already up at 86% here anyway. So let's just wipe out the army and then I suppose we head for Venice. Ideally, we would capture somebody worthwhile. Getting in there. Come after you. And my daughter lacks focus. Um. You're quick. Let's have you study duty. Victory. It'd be funny if we recaptured the guy we just ransomed. Let's hit them, just because they're there. The Croatian populace in Abauj have embraced flak culture. Good. Them and we passed to Nova. Well, they're part of Croatia. Let's ignore them. Croatia have a lot of troops around. Byzantine Empire sitting on Venice, which is presumably why that's jumped up to eighty-six percent. They don't have anything else. I think we may as well just start sieging some stuff down. Let's siege this down since we're right next to it. And let's split the army in half. You stay there and just siege down that province. The trade route is in dire need of a new ship. 200 gold, okay, there you go. An acquaintance has passed. Um, okay. 94% again. Hopefully this will be over quickly. Who died now? Uh, the advisor. Well, again, King of Serbia. You can sit on the throne or sit on the council. Well, sitting on the throne, I suppose. How many troops have you hired? Five and a half thousand only. Uh, I suppose... The other thing is you've hired troops from your vassals. Or raised troops from your vassals so they might... Uh, refuse to give you any troops. In the near future. And stewardship. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking that this war's going south. Byzantines aren't going to be able to continue against Croatia because they're losing too many troops. I don't really want to get involved in it. June. Damn it. 
didn't even see them coming over. Too busy looking at something else. We don't have any organisers or the like. Just checking out. We'll get out of the way as quickly as we can. And just keep going. Let's make sure the Byzantines are still sieging that down. There we go. My wife has asked to consider her for the position of Chancellor of the Council. Who do you suggest something so inappropriate? Okay, make peace. Gavril has published his work on the Four Humours. His ideas about black bile, flame, blood and yellow bile and how they can be man manipulated to treat different ailments have been received with much acclaim by scholars. Excellent. Stand down our troops. You come home. How many troops can I raise? 11,000 in total of my own. See where these guys go. Ideally, they would march through the uh, my country, and I could link up with them. Where are you off to? You in Bessie? Yes, you are. Let's send... Oh, we don't have any boats, do we? Are you going by sea as well? Yep, okay, never mind. Stay where you are. Let's see where they make land. That's sensible. If we can get our troops to link up with that army and then raise up the rest of my men. As long as they don't waste themselves against this lot. Which it looks like they're doing. After a smart move sailing round there, it was a pretty idiotic one to go in and attack them. Not allies. I wanted to take control. Okay, let's try it. All of our troops head in here. A group of craftsmen has come to my court and shown off their work. They present me with fine goods, of which I am sure there will be a demand for in the realm. Noticing my interest, the craftsmen ask for some capital to start up a workshop. 50 gold, take it. This is because I've got the business focus. Have a new heir, yeah, fine. Sort that out once we've got peace in which to do so. I need you guys marching in there now. So that we're in reasonably close hand when they take on the Croatians. Ok. 
Okay. They've come out here. Let's have you lot all join in there then. Didn't quite get there. Never mind. We'll follow them in. And here, my son, age 12, looking not too bad, for intrigue, and while you're here, again, you know, genetics, Designated Regent of Bremen, Pity of 44. Hmm. What did you have? Tobruk. Let's suggest a marriage. Everybody lies and the courtiers and murmurs are no exception. One of them dared to speak up and tell me I'm too cynical and not everybody lies. After Pira told me not everybody lies, I almost started laughing. I told her that if she could prove that, I would start believing in mankind again. 20% chance I'll lose the trait cynical. A famous bard named Costin has arrived to my court, lured by tales of my family's generosity towards all artists and craftsmen. He hopes to join my court and offer his services to such an illustrious patron of the art as I am. Of course you're welcome. Right. I accepted that suggestion. Catch. Always follow them. And you just wasting my men. Oh, I suppose that led to this battle. That's it. Break them, kill them. And then we will unattach, I think. Separate out and take these guys, the Sicilians. My courtier has requested to join the Knights of Santiago. Sorry to see you go, but you go with my blessing. Get up there. If I can smash as many Croatian troops as possible now. That would be good. Where are you off to? Uh, here. Get them. Damn it. Ah, good. Kill them dead. Victory. Oh, if we get a capture, we can. That would be ideal. I don't suppose this guy gives us any war score. Well, let's ransom him. 145 gold is nice. A 
arriving is time going to pest. So are we. Always been a problem. Twenty first November, and oh, we got and in here. I'm supposing, yep. And they've won the siege down there. Okay, so we'll hit them. One more time, I think, and then we will head back down Caesar Capital. Both can marry. Okay. During the past few months, Sartaj has shown dogged determination in his studies of our language and has now also expressed a desire to study the history of my people's ancestors. I will encourage that. Uh, let's make this count disappear. We're trying to do what he's doing. Okay, we've got a fair amount of money now. And I still want to get rid of what this Unfortunately, still not able to do it. Young Vlad is showing much petty cruelty towards others. Um, show more ambition. Yeah, so we'll just go down and we'll sit on the capital, seize that down, and that should hopefully help our Byzantines win their war. This group of carpenters working together is more and more as well as taking on apprentices. This is a situation that cannot be ignored, and so I need to either approve of the carpenters guild to ensure you have a good reputation amongst the skilled workers, or I could allow out outlaw them to make sure that they are not an impediment to the local market structure. Uh, I will Support the carpenters, I suppose. Ever since my pursuit of wealth began and I started keeping a close eye on both income and expenses, my coffers seem to be filled to the brim more often than not. Again, plus one stewardship. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, let's spend a bit of cash. The militia training ground, I think for preference up here and down here the barracks and that'll do us for the moment okay more creations dead my wife is pregnant excellent Okay, Byzantium, what are you up to? Standing over here, I suppose you're sieging down that province. Might be useful. What would be more useful is if would be if you attacked them. And the war is over. Byzantine Empire won. Okay, you get back up there and we'll stand down our troops. And we can recuperate for a bit. I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believed it to be a burglar. When I went downstairs I discovered Adelina opening one of my letters. I'll teach her to be less nosy. She can use the practice reading actually. Come on, quickly now. There we go. Stand down. Get the retinue back. 
Okay, Byzantine Empire, you are becoming a real thorn in my side. Right, good tradition to have some gossip around a pregnant woman. Yeah, we want her to be healthy, so let's spend the cash. And 55 gold. How much do we actually get from our Byzantine friends? Um, what am I looking for here? I've totally forgotten what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing, yep. So, yeah, 70. So it's not actually that big amount. Uh, you. Do at least tributary. Or do I have. A, ah, do I have a daughter? Hang on. No, 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 no. He's already married. He's 49. chance of killing them off. Um, okay, so I'm going to release them, but I'll do that next time they try to drag me into a war. I'll just take their money for now. Ah, talking of being dragged into wars, Pope Victor. Uh, asking us to prayer, prepare our men to fight against the heathens and infidels to restore Christendom to the lost places of the world. The Pope wants to send our faithful Christian men against Jerusalem. The, religion is, the region is held by Mohammedan Sultan Abdul Qadir III. Though the Pope wants to invade Jerusalem, a pious Christian could convince everyone to focus on another objective that is of more value to us. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with the flow. And we'll sort that out next time. So I'm going to put in a break here. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this, please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers!